Hello, bonjour, Alberta. Did you know that at least 238,000 people speak Francais in Alberta? And those numbers just keep on growing? Oui, oui, c'est vrai, it's true. And thanks to Shaw TV Community Access Programming, we get to reach out to everyone to let you know all about special people, places, events, and activities happening right here in this great province in both English and en français. That's right, mes amis. We begin the first part of our program in English, and then we repeat it en français. So stay with us. Restez à l'écoute. Welcome, bienvenue. At Hello, Bonjour, Alberta, my name is Luigi Soundproof Labarriere, your host for the evening, and today I have a special guest that will talk to us about Le Franco, a provincial newspaper here in Alberta. Her name is uh, Emma Hautka, and she is the chief uh, director of uh, the uh, newspaper. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Very good, you? Oh, I'm wonderful. Welcome to uh, Hello, Hello uh, Bonjour Alberta. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, you were saying that, uh, I was sharing with them that you were uh, part of the Franco uh, newspaper, exactly? Yeah, I'm the new editor-in-chief editor. uh, right after Etienne Alary, who's been on this uh, TV show already. Okay, so you started as a, a journalist. Yeah, right? that's what brought me to Alberta. I um, basically contacted, there's a, a Fre French uh, press association and I contacted them because I was coming back from France and I wanted to travel around and continue working as a journalist and I contacted them and I got two offers, one to go to Winnipeg, one to, one to come to Edmonton to work at Le Franco and I chose Edmonton. Edmonton, yeah. there you go. And that's what brought me here. Now <laughs> I heard a lot of different countries and cities, France, Montreal, Winnipeg, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Montreal, so I was oh. born and raised in Montreal. And But just before coming to Alberta, I was doing an internship in France. And my dad is from France okay. also. So I have the French nationality as well. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. And how was uh, your experience in France? Oh, that was great. It was uh, my first real experience in radio. Um, it was really good. It was very short though, three months. Also my first experience in kind of like community media, in a community media. And yeah, it was really interesting. And when I came back from there, I just felt like I didn't really want to settle back in Montreal, Montreal. that I wanted to continue and travel and be a journalist somewhere else because it was interesting to like move be a journalist in a community that you're actually learning about yeah, exactly so yeah oh wonderful that's what inspired me i think yeah exactly. <laughs> so once in edmonton you had another internship or how did well you i got hired by uh, le franco to be a journalist there and it's a very small newspaper so i was the only journalist there with um the director at the time etienne and uh yeah that's it that's that it. was my role that back, was then. <laughs> back then. <laughs> and uh, the uh, the francophone community here in Alberta is something that probably was a challenge for you. First, you you wasn't from Alberta, and then second of all, there's not that many francophones here, right? Yeah, I mean, like I came back, I came here, and well, because I had applied to Le Franco. I had done my research. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the job, so I did my research and I uh, learned about the French community that way. Like that was the first time that I learned about it was doing research for the in job interview, basically. And uh, I think like every uh, Quebecois, I was very surprised that there were many francophones out here. Mm -hmm. uh, it made sense though in my research because of this uh, early settlements and things like that. Mm. And then when I came here, it was like, oh, okay, well, there's this whole neighborhood at Edmonton that's kind of like a, I call it the French ghetto, and I'm using oh. ghetto not in a, like, bad <laughs> Negative sense. Way, I'm yeah. just saying, like, a ghetto is where, like, communities gather, and, you Similar know, and that's, yeah. like, what Bonnie Dune is in, Mon in, uh, in is Edmonton. What is the name of that? Uh, Bonnie Dune. Bonnie Dune? Bonnie, Bonnie yeah. Dune. Dune. That's, oh. that's where the French campus is, Campus Saint-Jean, and right in front of Campus Saint-Jean, there's La Cité Francophone, and that's where our office is okay. and where like all the French associations are so it's as soon as you start working at the francophone newspaper like I remember I started there 
the first day I got there, the uh, administrative assistant basically like came, um, brought me to like every single office of every single French association and introduced introduced me. So like after the first day, I knew that there was like a, a, a law related association, health uh, a health related association, mm -hmm. arts related as association, and all of that. So mm -hmm. that was already like immersed in the environment I was going to be working in. Okay, wonderful. Now besides that environment, you had the chance also to discover different other communities around Calgary yeah. where there's francophones, right? Yeah, I think that was my favorite part of the job was going on little road trips like. Uh, I, I one that was very well the 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 one here in Calgary when I came for the stampede for the first time that was very significant also because I think that the French community in Calgary is very different than the one in Edmonton okay. even though they're like two big cities and but one of the, another like mini road trip that I did for work that was very um, meaningful to me was when I went up to Faller which is in the northeast of uh, Ed, uh, Al Alberta okay. uh, northwest sorry northwest of Alberta. It's in the Peace River region, okay. and it's about like five hours uh, north of Edmonton, and it's like a very small community, but it's uh, like a, it used to be like a French settlement village for okay. like that's where like pioneers settled there wow. and had their homestead and everything. So basically, there you go to the store. And if they recognize that you have a French accent, they're going to speak to you in French, there even though they're Anglophone, because like it's in the history, and there is a French school there. And I met loads of people from that community, and they were they were telling me their stories, and I thought that was like really interesting. So it, I think that's like one aspect that I think is very interesting about these news, this newspaper is that it's it caters to all these like small communities that right. are like far or closer from but like other. very far from each other and from like Edmonton which is kind of the center that's where our office exactly, is. So. Yeah. so as you like you, you're saying it's a different community like far away from each other or from like the center the reference Edmonton yeah. so they have different needs and you gotta adjust I like, imagine your, your articles and uh, the different pages of the, mag of the journal yeah. right? That's why I say that it's challenging because it's challenging for us to be present in these communities. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they have different needs, but they're definitely like, for example, like Edmonton already has like so many things going on in the French right. community that it, it would be easy for us to fill the newspaper, which is a little bit what we do because of the constraints, but it's very easy for us to fill the pages of the newspaper with only like Edmonton, Edmonton related events. So we need to make an effort to be out there because these people also receive the newspaper and I want personally for them to recognize themselves in their community right, exactly. in the newspaper. But it's hard, like I need to, um, as, as editor in chief now, I need to make contacts with these people to say like, okay, we want to cover your local news, exactly. French community related, but very local news. And you might not think that's interesting for us, but it is very interesting. And another thing is that we don't, only want to cover events that are organized by like the French Association. Sure. We also want to cover da the daily lives daily, of the francophones yeah, exactly. out there, out but there. it's harder for us to like reach out to these people. Right. So that's I think that's going to be like a long-term goal of goal. mine. And uh, as much as we can, like budget-wise, also I guess be physically present right. in these communities I think is important as well. So as, as I'm hearing you uh, speak, um, I guess as a, a chief editor, you, you're trying to create also a web, kind of a web, like, you know, like a, yeah. a, a spider web kind of yeah. thing. But do you use uh, technology, websites, uh, applications, or well, Twitter so or so it on? At, uh, Previously, it wasn't something that the newspaper was putting forward or putting at or uh, considering as a priority right. because of the very small, like, resources that we have. So we're basically now what I, uh, it's me and a journalist. Um, and an administrative assistant. Okay. So three people working for this newspaper, basically putting together two newspapers because there's oh. one weekly and a monthly that's made out of Calgary or we want it to may be made out of Calgary. So yeah, so with the smaller resources, it's, it's harder for us to be able to like, for example, on the website, update content uh, every day and things like that. Uh, it's it's takes a lot of time, takes a lot of resources, but we try as much as we can. And I think, like you say, using 
the web per se, <laughs> yeah. it will help us to like be able to create this like actual web or web in between like all these communities. Or a webby. Exactly. <laughs> Small developing In between web. all these communities <laughs> because it's easy for them to like interact with us on exactly, Facebook yeah. and things like that. And I want, that's, that's my goal is I want the articles um, uh, to trigger reactions among people and right. also maybe like build not build relations because the relationships are already there but like renew them and um, make a them bond. flourish right. yeah a bond exactly yeah. okay and um, I know you're going to have a, col a collaboration with us also with the, the TV show here in Calgary right yeah. yeah well it's just with every media that's out there I think community media is like a hard thing to like put together in general right. like they're in Edmonton they're trying to start a community radio station and I was part of starting a community radio station in Banff so I know how it is and I know it's hard and it's relying on a lot of volunteers it's relying on a lot of uh, overtime being right. done by like most staff you know <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's really important for us to collaborate so I'm already collaborating with a, um, the uh, radio state community radio station in Faller again Faller. that I visited, yes. CKRP uh, Rivière La Paix. So we're doing like a little exchange between uh, content. Oh, so wonderful. I'm doing we're, I'm doing like a little like uh, weekly um, segment where I talk about what's in the newspaper, mm -hmm. and they're gonna help us out if we need to find people to work with us there or and keep us updated on the news. And then with a uh, community uh, television station that just started out in Edmonton, we're sharing video content. Wonderful. And hopefully we can share video content that's mm. relevant to us from this show. You you know? more than, you're more than welcome <laughs> to share and you're more than welcome to come back and tell us uh, about it also. Yeah. Now you said also you've been to Banff. Mm -hmm. I heard Montreal, France, Banff. <laughs> you have an international uh, passport, a template <laughs> as, a, as a person. Yeah. I, well, you like the outdoors, I could imagine, if you like to, to travel and all that. Yeah, I, I love the outdoors, and that's something that I discover out here. I mean, I was already doing a little bit of camping and cetera, like with my family, but I didn't realize how much I liked it until I came here. Right. But yeah, Banff is, I just got the opportunity to, uh, I was a journalist at Le Franco, and just by chance, the director of the station there called me up and said, uh, or called the director at the Franco and said, uh, we're looking for a French intern to uh, work on this uh, radio station and start a radio station from scratch. Wow. <laughs> and I have a passion for radio and also like living in the mountains was very what, uh, dreamy. What else can you ask for? <laughs> <laughs> so I just went there right away and uh, Etienne was very understanding to let me go and uh, do my, one of my dreams and I did that and then uh, yeah I'm here now. <laughs> How can we contact uh, the Franco? Where can we find information about it? Okay so this the website www.lefranco.ab.ca that's where you can find us. Um, you can contact me by emailing, emailing me at direction, so direction mm -hmm. at uh, lefranco.ab.ca. And uh, if you're in Edmonton, come to our office. It's on the third floor at La Cité Francophone. And one of my policy is that the door is always open. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'm at glad and we're glad. To, yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I work late, so you could find it could be open at 7 okay, in, you're at passionate. night. But like <laughs> my uh, my journalist is also very passionate about meeting people. So we're always eager to meet new people. OK. And, uh, in 10 seconds, can you share with us a, an article that you wrote and you were like, wow, I'm surprised <laughs> of writing that here in Alberta? Well, Ten okay, seconds. so there was this one article that I think is very important for me in uh, my career at Le Franco is an article that I wrote about uh, African um, uh, teachers not being able to uh, get jobs out here as teachers in oh, Alberta okay. and that's just a reflection about the fact that we're um, aware that there's communities from all over oh, yeah. and we want to cater to them as well. Wonderful. So we're going to keep on going. So uh, here we go. So up next, on continue en français.